my goal is to be a qualified, fully qualified accountant. Um, and I set, set this sort of time frame of six years. And so that's what I'm going, going for. I've had some setbacks. I was diagnosed with cancer last year. So, um, so um, I guess I was determined not to uh, lose any time for my, sort of my goals. Uh, her attitude's been that it's not going to put it back at all. She wasn't going to take any time off. And when she saw that she wasn't going to be able to sit some exams at the scheduled time, rather than put them back, she self-studied and brought them forward. We had to do a case study as part of level four. So before I started level four, I studied for that over the summer holidays while I was um, having chemotherapy and radiotherapy. You know, she's very motivated in her studies and, and she's motivated with other students. So she encourages other students with their learning. She's quite vocal and we like that about her because I think that is, that's Emma. Um, and I think that is, you know, it's important that for, for the rest of the students, if they are struggling, she's there to help them as well. You know, she's always that step ahead, it seems to be, and I'm, you know, continually amazed about how she's that far ahead with everything, sort of starting a new job and various other things and family commitments. Um, quite in awe sometimes I am, actually. So. She's been really inspiring. Um, I think, you know, when you go in, you're bogged down with your own problems, you can look at Emma and think, well, if she can do it, that I'm not going to let yeah. that issue in my life stop stop me because... Emma has overcome so much this year, especially when the work got hard. And also she's juggling, you know, a large family. And looking at Emma really, really inspired me to sort of dig deep and keep pushing at it. More than ever, my sort of goals are clear to me. So I'm just very driven to achieve those. And it, it, as I say, it's not really for the accolade, it's more for the goal.